sure there's plenty of other players out there that uh, might not know about how to get involved with, uh, you know, not just wheelchair basketball, but wheelchair sports in general. There's a lot of resources out there. There's something really exciting happening in Boise for the first time ever. We have a National Wheelchair Basketball Association team, and Idaho is now represented in the NWBA. A local man and his dad made it happen. Maggie O'Mara has the story of how this team came to be and the big plans they have for the future here in Boise in tonight's Sevens Hero. <laughs> Basketball is my first love, and so just being able to come out, get some exercise, you know, doing something that, you know, that I enjoy, it's been a lot of fun. Jake Simmons is now a proud member of Idaho's first national wheelchair basketball team, the Gem State Falcons. Those that haven't seen us play ball before, they're like, oh man. As you can see, these players are here to compete. I love being out on the court playing ball. Elijah Ellsbury is also loving being a part of this team. Getting to hang out with each other off the court and on the court, you know, making friends. The man who brought the Falcons to life is Tommy Schrader. He's a player and a coach. He and his dad teamed up to make it happen. It's our fir first year in Idaho's first wheelchair basketball team. And I've been playing wheelchair basketball for 35 years. And my dad and I just wanted to create a team and we finally got it uh, enough players. It's so important to be out there and, you know, be active and, you know, again, to kind of be around individuals that have disabilities as well. Kind of you can connect, connect on a different level. So far, the Falcons have played tournaments in Spokane, Sacramento and Tucson. This team is co-ed, and they're looking for more players. So we're learning as a group, we're growing as a group, and uh, we're improving every time. We get to travel, we get to, we get to, we got a great group of guys and women, so uh, come on, come on, join us. Yeah! You have the chance to see them in action next month in Boise. The City of Trees Invitational is a go. We're hosting a tournament at the Salvation Army in Boise on February 18th and 19th. We have teams coming from Spokane, Tucson, and Sacramento that are gonna be coming here. Obviously, you know, the financial aspect of it, you know, we're a new team, so we don't, you know, we're kind of putting in personal money right now. So, you know, we're obviously, you know, hoping to get some outside help would be great, you know, some donations. You know, it's, it costs probably $30,000, $35,000 a year to run a team and be competitive, so we, uh, we, we need some help. Schrader has big goals for Idaho. He says he's just getting started. Eventually, it'd be great to have multiple teams. Right now, uh, since we are a first-year team, we're playing in the National Wheelchair Basketball Association Division Three, but there's also a Division Two and there's a Division One. Long-term goals, we'd love for you know Boise State to have a team because there's a collegiate division. Yeah, I think it'd be really cool to be able to have more people involved, especially the ones that are just now getting adjusted to life after an accident. You can do anything that you want. You just have to find different avenues to do it. For players like Jake and Elijah, this team is about a lot more than basketball. This has been a huge thing for myself personally. I feel like it's more of a confidence booster for everyone too, just to know like what we can do on and off the court. Tommy Schrader and the Gem State Falcons. Well, this is year one. We're hoping to, you know, I want to be playing for another 30 years, so hopefully eventually I'll be playing in the 31st. <laughs> Sevens heroes. And again, the tournament in Boise is on February 18th and 19th at the Salvation Army Gym on Emerald. Another goal of this team is to let people who use wheelchairs know about it all and the sports that are here and available here in the Treasure Valley. And there's something for everyone. For more on the Gem State Falcons and how to donate to this great cause, just head on over to KTVB.com.